All right. Uh, notice now we've got a velocity and a radius. So we're, what we're going to do with this, guys, we're going to figure out the centripetal of acceleration of the ride in Gs. So we'll find it in acceleration, and then um, we'll turn it into Gs, right? And then we'll use the, um, the whole top and bottom thing, right? The 1G minus the ride, right? And the 1G plus the ride. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. Um, since we have velocity and radius, we'll use... So 4.08 squared divided by 8.5. Let's get that 4.08. Oh, we've got to turn the calculator on. And the calculator fell asleep. Okay, divided by. I was so boring that I put my calculator to sleep. Okay, this is 1.9584. Right, and then what you do is you just divide that by 9.8. So meters per second squared divided by 9.8 is going to give you g's, right? So I go divided by 9.8, and I get 0.1998, right? 0.199836. So I'm going to say that's about 0 0.200 g's, just for fun, because that's a nice even number. Okay. And so at the top, I'm going to read 1g minus 0.2, right? Or 0.8 g's. All right, so once you get it into G's, just pop it over into, into ride land here, right? And then at the bottom, it's 1G plus the ride, right? So 1G plus 0.2 is 1.2 G's to that. Okay, so remember, you're heavy at the bottom, you're light at the top. The world is a good place.